This video is a must watch for anyone who is still alive in 2020. If you're watching it after 2020, congratulations, you survived. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Today's video is a collaboration with Yota Style. If I remember correctly, and I do, she asked me to do, no she, begged me to do this collaboration with her. She is obsessed with me and it is getting to a point where I'm getting worried. Last night she was texting me asking for nude photos. You may think I'm joking, but I'm actually not. <sighs> it's getting weird, folks. It's getting weird. But that's no surprise, because it's 2020 and we are almost halfway through and we are pretty used to weirdness at this point. There's another YouTuber called Lisa Loves Bags and she did a video, I believe it was called 10 Bags, Whatever it was called, I will link it below. Pretty sure it was 10 bags. Yo to watch that, told me to watch it, said, hey, that's a great idea. We should copy her. I said, I'm not gonna copy her. So Yota copied her, and now I'm copying Yota at Yota's request. We're each talking about 10 bags, but we did not discuss the categories or occasions, or what those 10 bags would be. All we know is that we're each doing 10 bags. So as soon as you're done watching my video, if the world hasn't imploded yet, go check out hers. I'll have that linked below too. I'll be just as curious as you to see what she posts. I was trying to come up with 10 different categories or 10 different occasions to which you would wear different kinds of bags and it quickly devolved into 10 bags that you need to survive 2020. So let's get started. Bag number one. If you've been watching my channel for very long you are well aware that I have and use about 3,000 planners and since I carry them back and forth with me from home to work and sometimes to other places I need a planner bag. So bag number one is the kind of bag that I typically use to carry my planners which is a Birkin inspired look-alike dupe whatever you want to call it bag. This one's from Handbag Crave. I will link it below. They have it in a lot of different colors. They have the pebbled leather. They have a mock crocodile and they just released an ostrich print that they're sending me. They also have gold hardware and silver hardware. They're fabulous bags. They're well made. They're taking because of coronavirus and shipping and all that. They're taking month, month and a half maybe to arrive from China to the United States long time to wait but worth it i promise and my planners fit in here this is a size 30 they with my stack a 35 might be better but the 30 works really well for most people and it's nice and boxy when you expand it so it fits stacks of notebooks really well. And one thing you want to make sure you have because it is 2020 is a whole lot of correction tape because anything you plan these days gets canceled or postponed. So you're going to have to change your plans a lot. Though as a matter of fact, considering that it is 2020, you really can't plan anything. So what do we need for the planner bag? Bag number two a coronavirus bag. This is the actual bag that I take with me when I go anywhere these days. I've told you guys about this before, but I don't think I've shown it to you. Pretty much the only place I go is the grocery store, though sometimes liquor runs are necessary these days. This is an inexpensive bag. It's a dupe for a Chanel clear bag, and this is from Amazon. I think it's about $30. I'll link it below. It comes in a few different trim colors, and it's a perfect coronavirus bag for a few reasons. One, the chain is long enough that you can wear it crossbody so you don't have to keep touching it and adjusting it when you're in the store and spreading germs on your bag. Two, it is completely wipeable because it's PVC. So as soon as you get home or any other time you want to, you can wipe it down and you don't have to worry about ruining a more expensive luxury bag. Three, you can see into it. So anything you want to access, you can access pretty quickly and easily without having to fumble around and touch a bunch of things in your bag. And four, it has an exterior pocket. So actually when I'm in the store, I never even need to reach into the bag because all I need is in the back here my phone and a little wallet with my cards. And of course if you are a dachshund lover like I am, this is a must-have. It's a wiener dog that shoots hand sanitizer out of its butt. 
Now inside the bag, as you can tell, I have extra gloves, I have extra masks, I have a spray sanitizer, a little extra hand sanitizer in case the wiener dog runs out, and a pair of sunglasses. I also have some alcohol wipes, and somewhere down in here is a pen. In that back pocket, I also keep my grocery list, and I just pull that pen out and check things off as I'm going through the store. It is the perfect coronavirus bag. Bag number three. I don't have one to show as an example, but a protest bag. A lot of us will need those. What I would recommend is some sort of backpack that is not high-end, something lightweight and something big enough to carry a few bottles of water, maybe a bottle of milk in case you get tear gas. I've heard that is supposed to help. And a handful of masks. You should still be wearing masks. Black lives matter, but coronavirus still matters too. Take a handful so you can wear one. If it gets soiled, you have extras, or you can give them to other people who might need them. And apparently there are websites and social media posts that tell you what you should and should not bring to protests. So if you're going to one, check them out. Bag number four, because it's 2020 and it's only the beginning of June, hurricane season has already started. We already have tropical storms forming in the Gulf. Isn't that exciting? Now I happen to be an expert on hurricane survival because I live on the Gulf Coast. I've been through quite a few of them and actually my master's thesis was on hurricane survival. The bag I would recommend for hurricanes is something called a dry bag. This is a tiny one, but let me show you in case you've never heard of one of these. You can get them much, much bigger than this, like duffel bag size. This is a little clear bag and it's completely waterproof. It keeps the things inside dry, which is why it's called a dry bag. You can get this at sports stores or of course online. So you unhook these little clips just by turning them and then the bag opens up. You put your stuff in or get it out if you need to and then you just close it right back up. And what you don't want to do is squeeze the air out when you're closing the bag. You want to leave as much air in as possible and that helps the dry bag be buoyant. Because the thing about hurricanes is it's not the wind that creates so much of the damage, it's the flooding. And we also know that hurricanes are not just happening along the Gulf Coast now, they are happening all over the place. And I highly recommend you store your dry bag next to your inflatable raft. Now while we're waiting for those hurricanes, we need something to do. A lot of us are still home, quarantining ourselves, but now that things are opening back up, many of us want some little sense of normalcy. And a lot of people to find that are going out to dinner, so you need a dinner bag. In my opinion, the Louis Vuitton Eva Clutch is the perfect dinner bag. It's actually perfect for a lot of things, but it's a great dinner bag. This does come with a crossbody strap, but I wouldn't take that to dinner. The chain strap gives it a little extra elegance. It's beautiful. It's small enough to sit on the dinner table because a lot of men don't get this. When a lady goes to a restaurant, one of the things we do before we sit down is assess the chairs. I don't think restaurant designers, the people who buy the furniture for restaurants, think about this, and they should. So if any of you are watching, remember this. Women need places to put their handbags. Sometimes we have a bag that's small enough to be on the table, but sometimes the tables are too small and even a small bag gets in the way. Many times if we put it on our lap and then we put our napkin over it, the napkin will slide off or the bag will slide off or both will slide off and that's a pain. So a lot of us want to put it over our chair, but then a lot of the chairs are sloped down and we try to do that and the bag just falls right off. So in thinking about the many different ways that restaurants do not account for the needs of women and their handbags, I think the Eva is the perfect dinner bag. It is small enough to fit on the table, but if you're able to hang it, it also has a chain and it is even small enough to put on your lap and it's sloped so that if your lap is sloped, you can counter the slope with this slope. Does that make sense? It works, trust me. This bag is discontinued, but you can find it pre-loved at the links that I've listed below. Bag number six is for those of us who want some normalcy, but also need something to help us get us through these difficult times. Bag number six is the Louis Vuitton Noe. This is the GM size. The PM won't work quite as well. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a winery bag. The Noe was originally designed to be a champagne bag on cruise ships. It was meant to hold a bottle of champagne in each of the four corners and another one upside down in the middle. Now, champagne bottles tend to be thick, glass on the bottom and they tend to be wider than normal wine bottles. So I think, and I'm surprised I haven't actually tried this yet, I'm pretty sure you could fit three wine bottles across that way and two across this way and get a whole six wine bottles in here. Now that would be kind of heavy, but the bag is designed to carry that much weight, so don't worry about it. Also, just as an added bonus, I have attached my Cerise's round coin to the outside of this bag. Something about this that 
no one may have told you before, it's a little bit of a secret, but I'll share it with you, is that if you drink enough wine, the cherries start dancing. Bag number seven, none of us are, well, most of us aren't flying in planes anymore because of coronavirus, but we can still travel by car. So this is my go-to road trip bag, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. I love this bag because I can sit in the passenger seat in the front, have this on the floor between my feet. Anything I have in it that I need to access is right there. I don't have to worry about a zipper. It's just just all perfect. This particular one being Damier Ben would also be weatherproof other than the top, but I usually have a scarf on the top and that helps keep things inside dry. It holds everything I need, all my regular purse stuff and a book and a scarf and a blanket and water bottles and snacks, whatever you need on a road trip. For me, this is the perfect road trip bag. Bag number eight. Now this one is specific to United States citizens. Bag number eight is a 2020 US presidential election bag. This is the one you can have the most fun with. We've built up a whole lot of frustration this year. By the time we get to election day in November, you can carry any bag you want, and I encourage you strongly to decorate it. Make it very patriotic, very red, white, and blue. Strap fireworks to it. It's the American way. Create a bag that when you look at it, it gives you hope for the American future. It makes you proud to be an American, and it lets everyone around you know we are in this together. Catches the attention of all the other voters around you, makes them smile during what is sure to be a tense day. And when you leave that voting booth, you'll have your bag on your shoulder, your I voted sticker on your chest, and you can walk out with your head held high, singing the Star Spangled Banner all the way to your car. If you wake up the next morning and the election has not gone the way you wanted it, which is going to be the case for a lot of us, then you are going to need bag number nine, a moving to Canada bag. Their national colors are red and white, so all you have to do is take your patriotic election bag, paint over the blue part, and start learning the words to God save the queen. Now we're finally at bag number 10, Keeping in mind that this video is all about surviving 2020 and keeping in mind the way it's gone so far, chances are looking pretty good that we're all going to need an alien invasion bag. I have two options to offer you here. The first is to get a tiny bag. The trick with the tiny bag is that a tiny bag is gonna make you look bigger proportionally. Being of a large size is naturally a deterrent to possible predators in nature. I would hope that that is the same on any planet. So a tiny bag may give you that advantage. And of course we are assuming that the aliens are hostile cause it's 2020. The other option I have to offer you, since we like luxury bags on this channel and particularly Louis Vuitton, is the Trevi bag from Louis Vuitton. Now mine is the P and the GM might be better for this, but the Trevi can be used as a weapon. Actually, it can be used for a number of things. First of all, it's a heavy bag, so you could take it and swing it at an alien and bop him in the head. Maybe knock him over. They seem to be pretty top heavy with the giant heads and small bodies, so that should be pretty easy. Oh, and make sure you keep sunglasses in here at all times, because according to most of the movies, they blast lights at you when they arrive. So you need to have something to filter out that light so you can still see. Now, another thing about this bag is it has this removable strap with some hefty hardware at the end. So you could take that off and you may need to talk to a Texan like me to get some advice, but you can basically swing this around like a lasso and take out their big eyeballs with the hardware. Now, another thing about this bag, and pardon me for being a bit crude here, but this is about saving your life. When I posted one of my last videos on this bag, a few people, not just one, like a few people pointed out that the bag looks a bit like some lady parts. I had never noticed that, but yeah. And it's the same on the back. And people pointed out that it looks like kind of the front and the back of lady bits. So we all know how aliens like to probe people. You could carry this bag and put it in front of you or maybe behind you and maybe that would trick them and they'd probe the bag instead. That might be a long shot, but it's worth a try. And then of course it's still a handbag so you can open it up and store things inside that might be helpful for you, like the sunglasses or like water. According to M. Night Shyamalan, they don't like water, right? or what's that movie where everybody's quiet, they can't talk because when they make noise, the aliens come get them. So you could carry one of those radios that makes the static noise because that's what killed them in that movie. So just watch a bunch of alien movies and see how to get rid of them and carry all that in the giant bag. It's part of the reason the GM might be a little better for you so you have extra room to carry all that stuff. Well, those are my 10 bags to survive 2020. I really, from the bottom of my heart, I hope this is helpful. I hope some of this information can save your life. Oh, by the way, you could also use the strap on the Trevi as a tourniquet 
if one of the aliens rips your arm or leg off. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope that you and your loved ones are doing well and continue to do well. I will see you back here next time. I hope. Have a fantastic day. Bye.